Shoulder stabilization series one, six exercises, 15 repetitions. Second set will show the progressions. You will need a resistance band or lightweight to a moderate weight. Meet you on the floor. Okay, for the first exercise, we're gonna do sideline shoulder external rotation. If you have a resistance band, go ahead and grab that. You can also grab a bungee cord if you have that. Or if you have a light weight or a beer, I don't have light weights, um, go ahead and grab that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get onto our side. You're gonna support your head with that bottom hand. Your top arm is gonna anchor at your side with your elbow. The motion is that you're going to bring your palm or your fist up towards the ceiling, keeping that elbow where it's at, and then coming back down. So you're just gonna go up and back down. Pretty simple, but what you wanna be aware of is that your shoulder blade is going down on your rib cage and moving towards your spine, not coming up, we're not losing our neck, and we're not shoulder shrugging. So really keeping that elbow in place and lifting that palm up and then coming back down. Let's go 10 more. Counting backwards, so it's nine, eight, seven, six, five, and you should feel like work even without resistance. Four, three, two, and one. Great. For the second set, I'm gonna show the progression. If you have a light weight or maybe some beer, go ahead and grab that. If you have a resistance band, go ahead and grab that. You may want a pillow too, just to support your head. So you're going to get into that same position, so you're going to lie on your side. I'm going to go ahead and just use my half foam roller right away to support my head. And starting with the free weight or the beer, I'm going to get in that same position, so elbows by my side. And from here, I'm just going to open up and come back down. Make this motion slow and controlled. You don't want to just feel like you're flailing your arm around. Keep your trunk nice and quiet as you do this motion. So that's how you do it with a free weight or some kind of free resistance. With the band, you can do a number of things. You can hold it with the bottom arm and going up here. I will often wrap it around my leg and just going this way. So completing our set of 15, let's go for eight more. Remember to perform all exercises on both sides. Five, four, three, should be feeling work, two, and last one. Great. For our next exercise, we're going to do a prone scapular series, I's, T's, and Y's. For this, you're gonna lie on your stomach, have those free weights or whatever you've come up with by your side for the second set. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get onto our belly. You're gonna keep your chin tucked. If you want to, you can always put a little towel roll or a little pillow to support your forehead. Arms are gonna go right by your side, thumbs facing the mat. Toes can tuck under or you can lay them flat. Glutes squeeze, abs engage. From here, you're gonna think about squeezing your shoulder blades down and back, and then just lifting your pinkies towards the sky. We're gonna go for 15. This one's the easier one, so don't worry. It does get challenging. This is five, six, up for seven, up for eight, up for nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, 
two. Last one. Now your arms are going to come out directly to the side. It's about 90 degrees. Have your thumbs facing up. Same motion, you're going to feel like you squeeze in between your shoulder blades, kind of down and back, and then lift those arms up for one, two, three, four, five, six. You want to make sure your neck stays nice and long. You're not hiking your shoulders. Keep them down and back. If that's hard, bring your arms down just a little bit and work up to that 90 degrees. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, now for the Y. Arms are gonna come out at about a 120 degree angle or so, or Think of the last wedding you went to where you sang the YMCA and did the dance. So from here, you still want to feel like your shoulder blades are going down and back. You are going to get a little bit of upper trap, but we're really trying to focus on that lower trap. So from here, thumbs going up. You know the drill. Lift up for one. Lift up for two. Lift up for three. Keep the butt squeezed. Four. You should feel like work. <laughs> Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, last one. Great. Now, you know what comes next, and that's the progression. Here's where you will grab your small weights, and you're going to start in that same position. So, on your stomach, pinkies towards the ceiling, thumbs towards the floor, going into the eyes, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, really engage those shoulder blades, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, one, okay, out to those T's, Arms out to the side, thumbs going up. Even with a little bit of weight, you should feel like more work. Okay, go in here, set your shoulder blades back. Lift up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, shoulders down and back. Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, a little more of a challenge, huh? Let's go for that Y. So come up to about that 120. Okay, everything nice and tight. Abs engaged, glutes squeezed, lifting up for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tension between the shoulder blades. Nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, Two, last one. Great, go ahead and put those weights to the side. Okay, the next exercise I'm gonna show you is serratus anterior punches. For that, you're gonna to need to go onto your back. 
if you have some lightweight or even moderate weight that would work um, and also your resistance band so we're going to go through 15 repetitions here because we'll add the resistance or the progression in pretty soon feet are going to go flat knees bent back nice and relaxed you're going to shoot your arms straight up towards the ceiling from here you're going to use your armpit muscle your inner shoulder blade muscle and you're going to punch up towards the ceiling and then bring it back it's a small motion that we're producing with our shoulder blade you want to make sure that you keep your neck nice and long and that you feel like you're working in this area kind of like the muhammad ali muscle if you think of that picture where he's punching and you just see it all ripped right here that's what we're tapping into you also want to make sure that you're not just bending your elbows we see this a lot in the clinic okay so really using your shoulder blades to produce this motion so this can be kind of hard sometimes with resistance it's a little bit easier so if you have your light to moderate weight, go ahead and put those in your hands and try doing that. Pretty simple. If you have your resistance band, take that, put it around your shoulder blades so it just comes across the middle of your back and from here now per perform this exercise. Okay, so let's do about 10 more. Ideally 15 uh, Repetitions, doing quite a few sets. Okay, four, five, keep your neck nice and long, working through the shoulder blade, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, great. Okay, this is our last exercise and we're going to tie everything together. We're going to put that scapular stability with rotator cuff stability and get some trunk motion going. You're going to go onto your back, have your light weight or even moderate weight near you. And what you're going to do is, let's say if we're starting with our left arm, you're going to have that go straight up towards the ceiling and you're going to straighten um, your right leg and your right arm out. From here, we're just going to roll onto our right side, keeping our left arm quiet. So I just want to go up and come back down using my core to produce the motion, keeping my shoulder and my arm nice and quiet. So those scapular stabilizers are going to let that shoulder blade go down the back, not letting it come up by our ears. Our rotator cuff is going to keep our arm right where it is, not letting it fall back, fall forward, or wherever it might go. This can be pretty easy without some resistance. So let's go ahead and grab that now. Usually a moderate weight will give us some challenge. I don't have one, but even a light one can do. So keeping that arm nice and quiet, go up onto your side and come back down. Going up to your side, watch your neck and shoulder blade position, as well as watching your arm, making sure it doesn't just fall back, okay, or fall forward. Go about seven more, going up onto your side, coming back down, arm nice and quiet, good, five more, five, four, this preps you for a Turkish get up, if you know what that is, three, Two, okay, and last one. Great, make sure to perform this on the other side. And that's all my friends. Be happy, stay healthy.